Hey there, welcome. In this video, we are going to be looking at the required documents you need to apply for your US study visa. My name is Toby and I'm from Visa Points, where we believe that travel changes lives. So let's get into it. First document you'll be needing is your I-20. What does an I-20 contain? It includes all your details from your full name, your date of birth, the details of the school you are going to join, and your service ID. Another document you'll be needing is your academic document. You need to provide your transcripts, your test scores for people that wrote GMAT, GRE, TOEFL, and IELTS. You also need to provide your diploma or degree certificate. Another document you'll be needing is your passport. What is your passport? It is an official document, an official travel document that is issued by the government that contains one's identity. And you need at least six months of validity from the date of interview. Another document you'll be needing is your DS-160 confirmation slip. What is your DS-160? It is an online non-immigrant visa application form that is issued and is given for temporary travel to the United States. Another document you'll be needing is your MRV payment proof. MRV stands for Machine Readable Visa. Your MRV fee is the fee that is paid to the government. It is a mandated visa processing fee that is required to, pay, to be paid. Either your visa gets denied or approved. Your MRV fee is non-refundable and it is non-transferable. The next document you're going to be needing is your service payment receipt or your I-901. What does service stand for? Service stands for Student and Exchange Visitor Information System and it is a US government system that manages data and application processes for F1 and J1 non-immigrants in the United States. Another document you'll be needing is your proof of funds. This is how you show that you have enough funds to sustain yourself during your stay in the US. You'll be, you'll be asked to provide your bank statement or your loan sanction letter. Another document you'll be needing is your interview confirmation slip. You also need to provide proof of employment, that is if you have been employed in any organization before, you'll be required to bring your offer letter. Your offer letter shows that you were given, you were, you were given a job, you were employed, or your salary slip. Another thing you need to show is documents that show ties to your country. You need to give them reasons and convince them that you are returning to overcome the 214B rejection. And yes, I've come to the end of this video. I believe I've taken you through some required documents or all the required documents you need to apply for your US study visa. In case you need to know more or in case you want to apply, you can reach out, you can reach out to us at www.visapoint.travel or send us a message. Thank you. We'll be glad to listen to you and help you. Till next time. Goodbye.